broadcasting I am ready. Hi, I'm Judy Shaw. I'm on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Joining me today from the Hershey Company, we have Rob Gehring, Chief Sales Officer, and Kristen Riggs, VP, General Manager, Brand Commercialization. Thank you, boys, for, thank you both for joining me. Thank you, thank you Judy. So Appreciate it. So today is the busiest day. What does that mean? So Halloween is a huge season for us. It's a huge holiday season, and the day before Halloween is actually the busiest day in retail. So. The way we look at it, this is kind of the culmination of all the activity of Halloween. Some people have procrastinated, they've put off purchasing their Halloween candy till the, the last minute. Someone like me. <laughs> Someone like us here. And so they race into retail looking for all those solutions. And so for us, it's the busiest day in retail where we know our brands come to life. We have, we have three of the top five brands in Reese's, Kit Kat, and Hershey. We have two examples <laughs> right here behind us and how we satisfy those consumers that are in desperate need of satisfying everything they need to trick or treat or hold a party. Because we know consumers are excited about trick or treat tomorrow night. So tomorrow night's the big night. The kids will be out, the parents will be out, the candy will come home and everyone will do the candy sorts. And mm -hmm. then we know mom and dad will be sneaking a few pieces for themselves for the trick or treat tax. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your roles at Hershey. What do you do? So I lead the selling organization. So we have a lot of people out there today and a lot of people out there tomorrow. So they've been working feverishly. And we actually have a great program where we involve many of our other employees. It's called Helping Hands. So anybody from our home office can go out and help in retail. And we've engaged over 900 additional employees to come out and take part in this season and how they help uh, forward the Hershey agenda with our retailers. That's great. How about you, Kristen? And I work in the marketing department, so I get the honor of uh, leading the team that works on all four seasons and some other marketing functions as well. So it's a pretty fun job. Oh, it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so last week, about 40% of your sales took place. What are you doing to help your retailers drive traffic to the stores? So there's that compressed window of Halloween for the procrastinators. Mm -hmm. And so we actually as soon as Halloween's over, we use a lot of consumer insights and consumer exit interviews and all of our retailer data. And we do everything we can to learn from this Halloween to make sure next Halloween's even better. And one of the things we've learned is in this last time window, people are seeking some modified assortments. And one of the things that's, that's fairly new to us is larger bags. So um, bags that are over $20, north of $20. People will run it that, la that last minute. They want a quick solution, they'll leave. And so we're constantly using insights that are rooted in consumer behavior mm -hmm. to ensure we're providing that solution in this last very pivotal window. And Rob told you earlier that it's really important for consumers to be buying the top brands at Halloween because they don't want to disappoint the trick-or-treaters. Right. Mm -hmm. And since we have three of the top five brands, it's important that they can see it in store. They can see it in the POS, they can see it on the package, and make sure that we're really showing them that the brands that they love are going to be in the candy that they're buying so that they know when they're handing it out later that they won't disappoint. <laughs> so how about in-store merchandising? Talk to me about some of the things that you've done in the stores with the merchandising. You bet. So mm. our goal is when you walk in as a, in a shop or when you walk into any store that you actually can sense the season and you feel that magic of Halloween. And so we try to bring that to life and help our retailers have a very organized section because the consumer wants to understand where that section is. They want to go there. They want to see, seek solutions for what that need of that trip is. And then once they've satisfied that, which we know candy is the key driver there, they're going to start to dwell in look at costumes, look at decorations. So we've created these archways that kind of draw attention from across the store. We use inflatable pumpkins. So anything that screams that season to the consumer in a very organized manner helps our retailers deliver. And the reason that that's so important is when candy is in the basket at Halloween, that basket size is 75%, 66% greater than when it's not. So our retailer partners really want candy in there because they know it creates that whole shopping occasion. Well, we see our retail sales force that Rob leads as one of our strategic competitive advantages. So we have blanketed stores with our retail reps and putting up POS, making sure that the merchandising is strong at the last minute. They have things like haunted mansions and Ooh. amazing spooky pumpkins, all with our brand um, proudly displayed. So the sales force is a critical part of us winning at Halloween. <laughs> That's great. So now, how about some of the new things you might have this year? What can trick-or-treaters expect? One of our <laughs> new insights um, that we learn from consumers is about the different reasons they're buying assortments. And so for some people, it's about the hero brands, like we talked about earlier. For some people, it's about value when they're having the big party, wanting to make sure they have enough piece count to satisfy their guests. So we have put out an entire line of new assortments 
So we have one that's spooky shapes. So for people that are excited about the um, more peanut butter and the Reese pumpkin, those kinds of iconic shapes are in that bag. And then we also have bags that, like Rob said, are, are really centered on value, getting piece counts as high as 500 or more. So having those assortments and being able to tailor those to what the consumers are looking for is something that we spent a lot of time learning from consumers and is in the market this year. So you were hearing various things from consumers that were leading to you making these new developments. Do you, how do you work with consumers? Do you have any, um, um, afterwards, maybe there's a focus group or something like that. H how do you how do you get that on input we're, from your consumers? We're always listening to consumers. So places like Facebook are great for learning for us. Yeah. Um, we definitely do do shop alongs where we'll go with the consumers and shop along with them for Halloween mm. and learn how they're thinking about the category and what they're interested in buying. So, okay. and then we work a lot with our retailers as well. Um, when they're thinking about what they need for their shoppers because each retailer has a different target shopper And so we're thinking about how to deliver something unique for all of them So we have a whole category insights department and based on the advantage survey We're actually ranked number one by our retail partners And so we take everything that Kristen has and we couple it together with all the specific retailer data to ensure our Strategies dovetail in perfectly with theirs and that way we're maximizing ourselves in this short window for them No, oh, that's great. That's great. So how about packaging? How important is packaging? Packaging is so important. First of all, like we said earlier, you have to be able to find the brands that you want in your Halloween assortment. So making sure that the brands are easily displayed, easy to shop for consumers is really critical. And then also bringing some exciting innovation to packaging is something we also do. So I don't know if you want to tell them about one of our new packaging innovations. Yeah. So we've launched a new package this year in KitKat. KitKat's one of our top brands. We actually have glow-in-the-dark packaging. Ooh. So if you think of trick-or-treating, <laughs> it's predominantly done it in the evening when it's dark outside. Yes. So a kid would uh, get that, or a child would get that from a house, and as they're walking away and they're looking at their bag, they see something glowing. It's something new we're trying this year. There's no Kit Kat behind me, but um, <laughs> if they were here, they'd be very excited about that. Yes, I mean, glow in the dark. Kids love glow in the dark, so that's fabulous. It's selling very quickly. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so one final question. What's your favorite Hershey product? <laughs> my favorite? I get so excited about the seasons because I love more peanut butter in my Reese's mm. than just the everyday. So Reese's, you're my favorite. And it's the Reese's Pumpkin. <laughs> the Reese's Pumpkin. How about I you, love Rob? the Reese's brand as well. Yes. There's several new, several new innovations around that, like Reese's with pieces. Yes. But I love just plain Reese's. I have to say, that's the, I do enjoy that. But my favorite, Kit Kat. That's a good choice. good choice. Actually, I love it all. I think I'll eat it all. <laughs> anyway, it's great having you both here, and thanks for joining me. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks.